We're back working with the Crowning Touch product by Vintage Market and Design Furniture Paint. And we are going to play with the new color they have now that's Smoky Bronze. And I love having a deep Van Dyke type brown or bronze to do smoking on my furniture. But I don't want it to have any yellow or orange undercast. I want it to be neutral and uh, rich looking. And this one fits the bill. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost... I told Edward this reminds me of a Bally Pearl. When you see the brown pearls, they've got a little bit of blue iridescence underneath, uh, but they're not a, a gaudy color at all. So what I'm going to do with this smoky bronze is do what's called smoking. Smoky bronze smoking. So we're just going to do the recessed areas in this piece. And this would be a really quick finish to do if you want to have your piece look antique but not have to wax or glaze the entire piece. You just want a little bit of an antique effect. And this would go very fast. So you had a lot of kitchen cabinets to do. This would be a good way to get that glazed look without having to do the entire thing. And all I'm doing is working it into the little corners where I've got millwork. so that it will create some depth. And then I'm going to take an, another pretty wet terry cloth towel and rub it out. I'm going to get a little bit on the side too. And then I'm going to take one of the European type brushes that's dry and splayed out just a little bit and do some stippling. Because I don't want it to be really apparent where I brushed or wiped the crowning touch. I want it to just blend. I've still got a little bit of water on the surface from my wet towel and that's helping to dilute it just a little bit and help it to move around. And I keep offloading my brush onto my wet towel to get the excess that I'm picking up from the board onto the brush and then onto the towel. And then to make it just a little bit more subtle, I'm going to grab another dry terry cloth towel and again make my puff with no wrinkles on it and give it a final go over. And this has just a little bit more body than the glaze and a little bit more pigment so I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck in terms of the amount of time that it takes to get the effect. You could do a resist with these as well. I could go back over this with the pearl crowning touch that we have on this side after it's dry and lift some of it off and get more of a super distressed look with the two colors of crowning touch layered on top of each other. But that's a very simple way to get a nice smoked look and add depth. You can imagine if you had a piece that had a lot of carving and cartouches, maybe uh, fruits or leaves or something like that, you would really make it stand out with this product.